Hi, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Anne, and today I'm bringing you the final book support group reading vlog. So it is Monday, it's the day one of the readathon, and I have already finished one book, so I can tick off one of the prompts, which is really, really exciting. I ticked off the prompt of a graphic novel manga or novella and I read Miss Lane Miss Laid in the Parts Unknown by Shauna McGuire. So this is the ninth and up to most up to date book in the Every Heart Doorway series or the Wayward Children series by Shauna McGuire. And I love this series. I think I've given every book five stars and this one is no different. We are still following Ansi within this story uh, from book eight and she is now at Eleanor's home for wayward children and she has been tasked with trying to help people find things that they're missing. And this story explores the trauma cycle and breaking the trauma cycle and kind of go talking about adults who have been through been through traumatic experiences and then continuing that cycle and continuing to traumatize people and how they don't have a right to do that because they've been hurt they don't need to hurt other people and I thought it was a really good story it was so good seeing some of our old characters like Cade, Sumi, um, Cora Christopher, all of those people. I love these characters with my whole heart and I'm so happy to be finally continuing with this series and it's making me feel like I want to do a whole massive reread. <laughs> I listened to this on audiobook at work. It only took me about two and a half hours because I listened to it at two times speed and I had a great time with it. So now that I'm home, I picked up my first physical book for this readathon and it is Capturing the Devil by Kerry Maniscalco. So this is going to be ticking off the prompt for Paul Pick. This is the final book in the Stalking Jack the Ripper series and in this in this series we're following Audrey Rose and Thomas Cresswell and they are forensic scientists so they basically um, are basically like coroners. coroners. They dissect bodies and figure out how they died and things like that. So in the first one we're following the murders of Jack the Ripper and Audrey Rhodes and Thomas are trying to figure out who did it. And we've continued on with the series with hunting for Prince Dracula, escaping from Houdini and then this last one capturing the devil which I'm very excited about. I have read one chapter and I'm very excited to continue. I have really enjoyed the series although I didn't like book three as much as I enjoyed book one and two but hopefully that this one will bring that series back up. I've heard some negative things about this when it first came out so hopefully I'm in the minority and actually do enjoy this but we shall see and I'll update you with an update probably tomorrow. <laughs> Tuesday afternoon and I just want to update you on my reading. So I am 195 pages into Capturing the Devil. I read this all last night, 195 pages of it all last night. It was very quick, very fast paced and I'm really, really enjoying it a lot more than I enjoyed book three, which is great. So we are in the place that we are now. We're seeing the relationship of Audrey and Thomas Cresswell and kind of seeing how things are Forming there. We've had a bit of a shock here where a certain thing has happened and now we're unsure as to what's going to happen now, how the relationship is going to... I'm being really vague because I don't want to spoil anything because this is book four in a series. I always find talking about series quite difficult but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying Audrey and Thomas as always. I'm enjoying seeing um, Audrey's father again and yeah I'm just having a good time with it. It's very fast paced, very quick and I definitely think I'm going to be able to finish it tonight so I'll update you with the rating and when I'm finished very very soon. Hello! You know, it's been one of those weeks where, honestly, nothing feels like it's going to plan. The other night in my last update, I talked about finishing Capturing the Devil. I think it was Tuesday night. 
It is now a Thursday evening and I just finished capturing the devil this morning. I had a great time with this one. I really, really enjoyed it. I really liked it. I'll be putting it through Copile and I will be letting you know what I've read. But I'm home now and I want to just get stuck straight into reading my next book. So I think what I'm going to pick up is The Curator by M.W. Craven. This is book three in the Washington Poe series and we're following Washington Poe. He is a detective and he is following being working alongside Tilly Broad Bradshaw as they are investigating a serial killer at Christmas time, leaving displayed body parts all over Cumbria. A strange message is left at each scene. Hashtag BSC6. So this is book three in the series, but we're following different mysteries as we go through the series. I'm picking this one because it's going to be a quick read and I'm going to fly through it pretty quick because I have with the other two books in this series. So I'm excited and I will update you with a rating for Capturing the Devil and an update once I've read some of this. vlog has not gone this week just hasn't gone the way that I planned and I just wanted to jump on and give you kind of a quick update but I just wanted to also talk about you know sometimes things don't go to plan and that's completely fine I'm not sure if I want to upload this vlog but I think that it is realistic to show what some weeks are like with reading like in January and February I read so much and now that I'm kind of hitting this not necessarily a slump but more of a I don't know what I want to do. I don't know what I want to read. I'm feeling a bit slumpy, but I'm still reading a little bit. So it's taking me that just that little bit longer to actually read the books that I want to read. Now I'm enjoying all the books that I am reading. It's just that I'm very tired. I'm very slumpy. I'm feeling <sighs> tired. <laughs> I haven't been sleeping well so when I get home from work I don't really want to be picking up a book and kind of um going into it and trying to finish it that's just not what is happening right now and that is okay so I want to give you a quick reading update it is Saturday evening it is almost dinner time so it's about 6 6 30 I think and I know I said that I was going to come out in and give you an update on how I was going with the curator by M.W. Raven and give you my rating for Capturing the Devil. So I put this through Call Pile and I gave it a five star. I had a great time with this. I really like the main two main characters. I really like the side characters. I love how sassy Audrey is. And I really like everything that happened within this story. I did find it a little bit more slow going compared to the other three books because we're constantly um, having all these murders, whereas in this one, all these people are going missing but no bodies are showing up so they don't really know what's going on and they're trying to figure it out and I had a great time with it so yeah and I read and finished The Curator by M.W. Craven today it took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to the first two books I read in basically a day and um, so this is a four star read for me I had a great time with it I do really enjoy Washington and Tilly Tilly is a great character she is very Sheldon like she has a very high IQ she's super smart but she just doesn't understand people so she says things sometimes that <laughs> probably shouldn't be said and she makes me laugh and I just really enjoy the relationship I really enjoyed the plot in this it was a bit more slow and um, because there wasn't a lot how it, like in the first two books there was murders that were kind of happening constantly throughout it and they were trying to figure out this person whereas at the start we know the three people that were killed and then they're just trying to figure out who did it and why etc etc um and I did kind of guess who it was which is interesting because that hasn't happened to me before with M.W. Craven but I still had a good time with it it is a four star sorry the sun's coming in we fixed the curtain so instead of the curtain being closed all the time we now have a blind and the sun is just blinding me right now <laughs> but I'm really enjoying having some light in this room um so I also decided that I am going to pick up Hannibal by Thomas Harris because this is the one book in the pile of books that I probably wouldn't pick up on my own in general I really struggle picking this this series up for 
for some reason just because it is a little bit more slow going this one was published in 1999 so you know it's a bit more dry it's a bit more it's not as fast paced as I would like some of my thrillers to be but I decided that I'm going to pick up this one so this is the third in the Hannibal Lecter series by Thomas Harris and this is seven years following the silence of the lambs so I am excited not very excited but I'm still excited to continue with this series so yeah that is my reading update but I did just want to come on and have a little bit of a chat my mental health hasn't been great this week or this month to be fair and I just wanted to kind of put it out there and show that you know not every week we're reading five six seven seven books and sometimes it's a bit of a struggle to get through three or four so it's okay if that happens it's not a race and as long as you're enjoying the books that you're reading then keep reading and if you need to take a break from reading then take a break but I will update you probably tomorrow or later on this evening if I have any other thoughts from Hannibal. I probably won't finish it before the end of this vlog but at least if I get a chunk in and can start reading it and it's on my currently reading list I will more likely to finish it. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay so it is time for me to update this vlog. Um, I've gotten a lot further in Hannibal by Thomas Harris than I thought. I'm actually really, really enjoying this. I currently am on page 336 out of 562, so I've got just a little bit over 200 pages to go. So I definitely think I'm actually going to finish this before the end of the day, which is exciting. So I am really enjoying this. I This is like one of my least favorite Hannibal movies that there is, but I'm really loving the reading experience of this one. So we're following Hannibal as he is doing his thing. We're also following Clar Clarice Starling who is trying to figure out where the hell he is and what he's doing and then we're also following like the detective who is in Florence who's trying to figure out if the guy that he thinks is Hannibal is actually Hannibal and we're kind of following that story and seeing Hannibal out in the world which I really enjoy um, because he has escaped. Um, I don't think many people are actually going to read this so I don't think I need to worry too much about spoilers but Hannibal has escaped prison in the end of the Silence of the Lambs and um, now we're kind of following him as he is out in the world and trying to escape from being recaptured and things like that so it is a great time I'm having so much fun with it more fun than I thought I was going to which is great so yeah it's great I just filmed my April TBR so that will be up pretty pretty soon pretty soon link up above and I will update you when I finish this book because I'm very excited to finally finish this book <laughs> good evening so it is finally time to wrap up this reading vlog so yesterday the readathon I did finish so I didn't end up completing Hannibal by Thomas Harris but I did spend this morning and this evening finishing it off so I did finish it which is great although it doesn't count towards any of the prompts for this readathon I thought that I would keep this in this vlog so I am continuing a series and although it doesn't hit any of the prompts it's completely fine because I finished or I'm continuing with a series that I've been in the middle of for a long long time so I just ran this through call palm and this got a five star I had such a great time with this. Compared to reading Silence of the Lambs last month, this took me like three weeks to read because it was so slow going. This took me two and a half days. I love this. It was so intriguing, so fast paced. I had a great time with it. Hannibal and Claire Clarice are just such great characters to follow. And I really loved seeing Hannibal in this one, although he is terrifying. <laughs> I had a really good time with it. A lot actually happened within this story, so I'm really happy that I read it and it is a five star. So the first, then I also finished um, The Curator by M.W. Craven. This is book three in the Washington Post series. I gave this four stars and I had a really good time with it. Really enjoyed it, although it was a little bit more slow going compared to book one and book two. I still had a really good time with it. And unfortunately, I did guess who it was at the end, but sometimes you can't win them all. Then I also finished Capturing the Devil, which completes this whole Stalking Jack the Ripper series. I gave this five stars. I had an amazing time with this. Really loved it. Audrey and Thomas are some of my favourite characters. And I really liked the 1800s setting with the courting and the propriety and the kind of having all of that sort of thing. Um, 
and yeah I had a really good time with this one too and then I started off this readathon with Mislaid in the Parts Half Known by Shona McGuire I gave that five stars had a great time with it I listened to it on audiobook and I had such a fun time so let's have a quick look at the prompts and I can tell you what I ticked off and if I got a bingo because that would be nice to know <laughs> Um, although my reading didn't go 100% to plan, I'm still very happy with what I read, which is the main thing. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the bingo board. I'll pop it up here so we can have a look and see what I actually did and if I got a bingo. So I read a T. So for TBR Vet, I'm going to put down Capturing the Devil. For self-care, um... I spent some time relaxing and laying in bed reading, so I think that that counts too. I didn't take part in a sprint, which is fine. An anticipated sequel would definitely be um, The Curator. Or a final book, Capturing the Devil, which is great. Graphic, novel, manga or novella, mislaid in the parts half known, so that is one. So yay, I got a bingo across the board there. Share, share TBR on socials, I did do that. Continuation station will be the curator, and then poll pick is capturing the devil. So not bad, the only one that I didn't complete is take part in a sprint, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. That is great. So I almost got a full bingo board with three bucks which is exciting so if you like this video make sure you give it a like comment down below if you took part in the final book support group or if you've read any of these series i would love to know and make sure you subscribe to see more content from me bye <laughs>